So someone once told me that every day you should try at least one thing that scares you half to death or at least makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. And I think that they are words to live by. What is life if we're not meant to be pushing our limits to see how far we can go and to just send it? Get all in. Hundred percent, he's gonna harass her the whole drive. What's the bet? He's sassy and kicks his whole way through the drive. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, go. Windows are open. Get in there. Hello motherfuckers. G'day guys, um welcome back to This Is Living. <laughs> so today well, the, <laughs> So this weekend we're actually sending it out to Canamble Radio. Um my friend Emma, who you will meet, has talked me into doing another barrel race. Um so we've loaded up the two horses we're going to be sending it out there. We've had to go a different way because there has been a heap of snow up through Lithgow so we haven't been able to go like out over the Blue Mountains. We're actually heading up the coast and then we're sending it inland out to through like Mary Walk and then out to Canem. So we've got a bit of a long drive ahead of us but it should be right. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, so yeah it should be interesting. I'm Ew. Ew. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Don't know why I'm feeling nervous, but probably just more excited. Um, I haven't done a rodeo in probably over a year's time, and I've only ever done one other one. So this weekend I'm actually riding Nala, who you guys have seen in my previous videos. He's my little baby, and I'm also riding one of my friends Emma's horses, who's an absolute gun at it. So pretty much I've just got to hold on for dear life and let this horse just do its thing, and fingers crossed. In the previous weeks, um, I have ridden Nala a couple of times just to kind of practice and get his iron around the barrels. But you know, it was a little bit of an interesting practice session. He was a little bit cheeky, but yeah, I'll drop in those clips now and I'll um, let you see how that went down. So you can laugh. Where are these horses? Watch, I'm gonna have to walk like three k's to find the horses in this huge paddock welcome back as you guys have probably seen on my instagram i have been talked into <laughs> got a hair in my mouth doing another radio by my lovely friend emma thank you emma where are they i've been talked into doing a barrel race at cunamble rodeo in a couple of weeks time and um to be honest with you i haven't done a barrel race at a rodeo in probably over a year's time and Nella's kind of just been out in the paddock not doing much at all. Thought I'd better jump on him and actually make sure that, you know, he wasn't going to try and kill me. <laughs> you know that feeling of when, like, your mind feels like, yeah, I can do that. Like, I'm very, like, I'll give anything a go, right? I feel like that's the only way to live life is just to have a crack at everything. But then my body, on the other hand, is just like, Olivia, no, we are getting old. You do not bounce off the ground like you used to do. Oh get talked into shit way too easy once again olivia making spontaneous decisions with not much time to prepare but it always makes for a good story oh, i think i could see him throughout past the olives so yeah let's just send it see what happens so yeah so these are all olive groves here but they're just going out of season i don't know if you can see that but they're starting to get a little bit wrinkly nala come on just through the trees out there and the little bugger doesn't want to come to me you had to make it hard for me didn't you 
You couldn't just come running to me like you usually do. Come on, let go. Hmm? Coat looks nice, big round bum on you. Um, if anyone doesn't know what barrel racing is, I'll drop in a little diagram of it. Um, pretty much you've just got to, you've got three barrels set up in like a triangle and you've got to do a certain pattern around the three of them um, as quick as you can without knocking a barrel over and getting back through the timers and obviously whoever does it in the quickest time without knocking a barrel wins. It seems pretty simple but when you're on a horse that is very g'd up and wanting to go it can be a bit um intimidating. Oh, this is going to be fun. Are you a quarter horse, bud? He is actually. Yeah, it shows. Oh. Gets through a quarter of the run and fucking parks it. <laughs> this one, we're gonna give some real speed. Right, eh? Go on, no. let's go again. Go. I'm only gonna get the alpaca and show you how to do it. Melbourne! Come over! Right, eh? Get into it. Make it a fucking fast one. Has that thing got two speeds or what? <laughs> oh, fuck off. Hard on the gear. Love the beat. So uh, today's ride was eventful. Look like literally, look how look how sweaty he is. I don't know if you can see that he's got like foam all over him. So the radio should be interesting because uh, today was definitely hard work. Was there bucking? Yes. Was he trying to run me into every barrel? Also yes. Am I going to be sore tomorrow? Definitely. It's beer o'clock. Want a beer? Negative on the beers. Typical is a crash on the fucking freeway on a Friday. Anyway, so yeah, that's how it kind of went down. He Ooh. was very fresh. Um, I did, crash. I did manage to hop on him again um, this week when me and the girls went out to practice. I did get a bit of footage of that, but Bridget kind of fucked the footage up. Shh, I'm dreaming about boats. Tom's just having a bit of a stiff moment about this bar crash we're passing. You're right there in the pants, mate. Shh. I'll bring you guys along like I always do. Um, this episode, I don't know how it's really going to turn out. It might be a little bit different, but... Um, do they strap you to the steers? No, you've just got to hold on. So it's like BYO ratchet strap? Something like that. How do you turn them? You don't. Why do they call them a steer? <laughs> <laughs> well, but yeah, I've got Tom driving me out here with the two horses on the back. We're in the D-Max, Mighty D-Max. Left Nelly at home because she needs a little bit of TLC at the moment, but and job's right. And that couldn't pull a fucking skin off a custard, <sighs> let alone a horse float with two oh, horses in it. stop it. What did your dad used to say about horse girls? They're fucking crazy and expensive. <laughs> Stay the fuck away from them. And now look at you. Should have listened to dad. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn buckle bunny. Goddamn buckle bunny. Now I'm the fucking buckle bunny. <laughs> guys fresh out of the rooftop tent as you can see I'm still very tired um, we're to wake up at like 6 30 this morning because we looked at the draw last night and 
I am first out of the gate at eight o'clock this morning. So that is not a fun time. So we've got to have a quick coffee, get our shit sorted and get on these horses so we can start warming up pretty soon. But fingers crossed. <laughs> you getting up, sleepyhead? Get your hours up. Go and get my coffee, then we'll have a check. Oh. It turns out I am first up for the whole fucking day. That's not fun to be fucking first out. Got the crew following me. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. Ready to chase some barrels? Giving a quick warm up on the way over. Ride the little little steer, mate. You know what I mean? Fuck, it's muddy. Couple of spins. Fucking Jesus. We're Christ. ready. We are ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Fuck. As ready as I'll ever be. Right, no, So I wasn't lying when I said I convinced Bridget to do this barrel race with me at Canaveral Rodeo. <laughs> I'm here. Look at it, isn't she the cutest Check her little cow girl? <laughs> this is cute as fuck. I'm ready to win. Are you ready to win? So muddy. This it's should like be seven interesting. Seven o'clock in the morning. I could have a beer just to drop the nerves a little bit. I need shots. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Ready to put in tune two? Oh yeah, tune two. Get the bread. Actually, it's not fire lap. It's fast lap. <laughs> fast lap. Noah just watched Emma ride that horse, and he whispered to me, "Don't ever let that woman on my back. <laughs> <laughs> She's fucking scary, eh?" Ready, we are on, girls are on. Try to catch me howling at the moon. We did it. Yeah, we made it around the barrels. We didn't stack it. It was 
Did not bad. I know. It hasn't really sunk in yet that we just did that, to be just honest. Just quietly, though. I did beat Bridget, just for the fucking record. <laughs> just quietly, my horse is three years old. By three and seconds. And this is my first rodeo. <laughs> it looked like it was your this first rodeo. This isn't her first rodeo. <laughs> this is her first rodeo. But no, but I loved it. It was so much fun. I loved it. It was good fun. It was great. Your bum great. looks good in those jeans, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> James thinks her bums look good in the jeans. I'm proud of you, babe. I'm proud of you, too. Thank you, so, like I said earlier, um, Stockman & Co, who we've been involved with for a little while now, is actually sponsoring one of the events out here at Kinamble Rodeo. Um, so I'll give you a bit of a tour around the stand, but if you're not following him already, I'll drop in his name, follow his page. He has some awesome merch, really, really cool, absolute legend. So give him a follow and I'll take you for a tour. We got Bridget here working <laughs> at the Stockman and Co. Stand. Stockman and Co. Mate, are you actually doing anything? <laughs> you know what? You can take a camera and go away. All right, this is the professionals. Anyway, guys, we're here. It's very loud. We're here at the Stockman stand with these lovely women. Hey. We've got Emily and Maka here. They've come over to say hello. Um, it's so good to see you again. It's so nice to finally meet you. They're absolutely beautiful girls, absolute Forby froppers. Um, follow them on socials if you haven't already, I guess. But Olivia will drop in their tags. I'll drop in their tags. Make to Olivia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll bring you along for the rest of the weekend, but we're having a cracker time. So, yeah. 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 Meeting those girls absolutely made my day. Um, they literally like found me and Bridget, and one of the girls started crying just because she was like, "Oh my god! Like it's so good to meet you guys! Like that just made my day." So that just goes to show that if you ever see someone that you I don't know you might look up to or you know that you find really inspiring or you just think is like a mad person, always go up and say hello because it honestly makes their day. It's so so cool. Is, uh, is that just your belt buckle or are you excited to see me? I'm a little bit horny. You're a bit horny, babe. <laughs> With a piece in my hand and bloodshot eyes, I walk to the water for a last goodbye. He begs so much, he clouded my mind. One thing's clear, the man's gotta die. Man makes right, so he said, when he held all the keys over our head. I lived in that grip, but now he'll learn at the end with the tables turned. Lord, forgive me Take me on Down the river where the kids can't find a red hand to center On Where the grave can't cry out Cause I done wrong Down the river with a hand on a colt And a finger on the trigger And on Before dawn they try to find By the riverbank, caught a boat sap, took off like a hurricane. With spotlights, dogs, hit the whole nine yards, are breathing down my neck and breathing hard. A two weeks in a wild chase across the highways, mountains over seven states. Found a man at the harbor, said that he could take me across the ocean somewhere far away. A love for Kimmy. Alright guys, um, we are going to leave Love it the there. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear, I'm not going to lie. Um, We've both fucking been driving for hours, oh, anyway, been through like three tanks of fuel. We are on our way home, it's been an absolute mad weekend, but yeah, I definitely reckon I'll finish the episode here, because <laughs> so I need a rest. But 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. We got some good rounds out on the horses. Whoop, we're going across the bridge. Um, I met some really, really awesome people who just made my weekend meeting some of the girls out there, which were so good. It was a hell of a fun time. Good piss up. Yeah, it was. It was really, really good. I was, so. fucking, I was thoroughly entertained. If you and the boys want a good weekend to go out and get blind and watch people get fucked up by big bulls, go to the radio. I was just going to the radio. That was, that was hectic. I haven't yeah. been to one since I was like a kid, so yeah, it was, it was literally fun. hectic. Yeah, it was always a good time. So, anyway, if you like the episode, obviously like, subscribe if you want to, drop us a comment if you want to. We love actually going through and reading the comments that you guys leave us. It like makes our day or our week sometimes because some of the feedback and just the overall comments we get from you guys are just so so cool. So, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Um, and yeah, I really, really appreciate the support, guys. So We're actually talking you. about the comments on the way up here. Like, compared to a lot of threads that you see on, you know, Facebook or stuff like that. Like, the, um, the feedback really is awesome. And, mm. you know, it's not just a generic thank you. Like, they are really, really good and we, we do appreciate it. So, um, keep it up and mm. let us know what you think of it. Mm, for sure, we love hearing from you guys. So, until next time, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Yo! Catch up.